welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys i am here to do an updated perfume dance video i try and make this video about every two months because that's usually when i have a good amount of perfumes to um show a bit of a dent in i like doing these videos because i like showing you guys updates on my perfumes and i like giving you guys updates on my perfumes and whether i'm moving them out of my collection because i really like them and i enjoy them and i know i would repurchase them or because i'm just trying to get them out and i'm not going to repurchase them either way i like showing you guys updates on where my perfumes are sitting to kind of give you an idea of what's going to be used up as well as how i'm feeling about those perfumes so i have nine here i was like oh, come on i couldn't get to 10. i have nine perfumes here um some of these you have already seen in other videos where i've talked about them and gave like a, a more in-depth review of them so like my perfume trays or my layering videos and things like that and then um others are pretty new you've probably only seen them in my perfume tray for january and that's probably about it but um yeah some of these i've definitely talked about multiple different times but if you guys want to see my updated perfume dance then just keep on watching okay i don't know if i should start with the ones that i've already talked about in previous videos or if i should start with the newer ones like i really don't know <laughs> i really don't know um I don't know. We just gonna we just gonna flip flop. We gonna go from new to old, new to old. Okay. So um, let's talk about my Jimmy Choo Fever, one of my absolute favorite perfumes, and I'm finally getting down to the wire on this one. So really and truly, I don't have much left of this at all. This is a 40 ml bottle, 1.3 fluid ounce. I still love this perfume to this day. Still love this perfume. Still think it is very deep and sexy, mysterious. Um, perfect date night perfume, perfect going out perfume, perfect seductive, sexy, like vixen type of perfume. I still think that about this. It has never not been that for me. Every time I wear it, every time I just go to sniff it in my collection, it really just evokes the bad side in me. This perfume is killer. I don't care what anyone says. This perfume is killer. Okay. I love that like juicy fruity plum note like it is very very like syrupy and just juicy and good and then I love like the hazelnut in this as well it's one of the most prominent scent notes that I smell in here along with the tonka bean um it's just so good it resonates with me so so well but I am slowly 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 starting to get down to the wire on this one and this is one of the perfumes where Mm, like I don't want to use it up I know obviously that if I use it up I can go ahead and repurchase and you know whatever but this is just one of the ones that I don't want to use up super quick if I put it on my perfume tray I'm not like heavily over spraying this one to get it finished and complete and say like oh I finished my like one of my favorite perfumes I, I'm not doing that with this one I really enjoy it but yeah I will be able to probably finish it off this year just wearing it out at night and enjoying it so yes that is my Jimmy Choo Fever still love that one a surprise fragrance to me that just really took me by storm and I'm just like loving it I really am enjoying this perfume and I really do think that I will end up repurchasing. Um, they don't sell the EDP anymore, but they still sell the actual body care. So that is Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. This fragrance has been around for how long and I've had this perfume for how long and I'm just now realizing that I like it. Like it sits with me very, very well and I get compliments on this and it's very pretty. Like I don't know what it is about this really powdery, clean, fresh scent that I like shocking right who am i when did i start liking scents like this because what and let me show y'all the dent so i have definitely put a killer dent in this perfume this is only a 30 mil actually no this is a 50 mil it's shocking this is a 50 mil you guys and i have put a dent in it and y'all know i was wearing this on my was it my december perfume tray or november i can't remember but i will definitely link the video where i was wearing this perfume and layering it with different scents and i just really enjoyed it and like i said it was definitely a compliment getter i guess because it just smelled classic it smelled clean it smelled fresh not bothersome not too heavy not anything so I really am happy to still have this. And like I said, I probably will go ahead and um, repurchase the body care once the actual perfume is done since they don't sell the EDP anymore. So I probably will get a body wash and a fragrance mist, probably even a lotion. Y'all, I might end up buying the whole full set of that. Shocking, right? Who am I? But I really do enjoy that one. 
Um, okay, my Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. Definitely enjoyed this one while it was on my perfume tray. I had so much fun with this one. I was mixing and layering this with so many different things, so many different gourmands because that really pretty like candied orange ginger sweet note in addition to the dark chocolate and the caramel, the powderiness. It was just really, really nice. I told y'all it gives me like a Reese's peanut butter cup type of smell when I wear this perfume. And I am seeing it in the light. I know I had shined the light on it, but it's basically right here to where the R is on Sabrina Carpenter. So I definitely have put a nice little dent in this fragrance. I really enjoy this one. I feel like the more that it has um, sat in my collection since I first reviewed it earlier in 2023, that dark chocolate note definitely has come through a lot more along with the patchouli, which I don't have a problem with. I really enjoy that. I've always enjoyed the deep, dark depth of this perfume in comparison to um, the original. I really have enjoyed that. So I like layering this with a lot of different things. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles was one of my favorite things to layer it with. I don't know. It just it literally gave me like this syrupy, sweet, chocolatey, caramel goodness. So I really enjoyed that combo. And I really enjoyed this perfume. Still like it. Douce by Rosie Jane was another one of my layering fragrances. And this is the dent that I put in her. And I said that when fall and winter hit, that was when I was going to get the most use out of this perfume. Because when I purchased it, it was, I believe it was in the springtime. And I just could not get with this fragrance. I was like, yeah, I don't see the hype. I know everyone says that this is supposed to be a um, vanilla ice cream type of scent. I do smell the coldness, like from that Hanoki wood. I do smell that. But I smell a lot of woodiness in this as well that really isn't giving me like that vanilla bean, um, cold vanilla ice cream type of smell. But it is sweet. It is sweet enough where I can layer this with other things. And once I started layering it with other things, it kind of gave me just straight up vanilla extract. I didn't get too, too much of that woodiness. I didn't get too, too much of that like depth from it. It just smelled like straight up vanilla. So I did love this as a layering agent and that is the way that I'm going to finish this perfume off by just layering it with so many different things. It's actually a really good layering combination in addition to Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream as well as the original. So if you wanted to, you know, do a layering combination with body care and this perfume, putting this on top is like a finishing touch. It's so good together. So I really did enjoy those. They were on my perfume tray at the same time. So I did layer those a lot together. Another fragrance that I layered a lot with my um, Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream is my Contour Sue Pacifique Vanilla Extreme. I told y'all I layered this one up and then that is my dent. So I've pretty much used about half, well, a little over half of this fragrance. Really, really enjoyed this. This is one of my layering perfumes. Um, this one more so gives me vanilla cake. This one more so gives me like sweet frosting type of vanilla like it's, it's that good and I love using this one again as like a top off type of fragrance so after I've done my whole full body care routine with whatever perfume or whatever body care I'm gonna layer it with I will spray this one on to kind of just like that final layer like icing on the cake literally icing on the cake um that gives me everything with a layering combination definitely a really really sweet gourmand perfume so if you don't like sickeningly sweet almost like really artificial type perfumes and you definitely wouldn't enjoy this one because that's all this one is giving like that's it literally that's it so i really enjoy that one as well a newer fragrance this is my creme vanille by Le Mans gourmand and this one has been getting a lot of attention from me lately and this is where she is sitting so i've really done a number on this perfume this is only a 30 mil so you know, it's not a surprise that I put a dent in this one, but hey, listen, I have so many perfumes. I don't care if I put a dent in a travel size. I'm going to talk about it because I just have so many different things to wear and layer and switch around. You know what I'm saying? But Creme Vanille definitely is a good one. This is one that I like, I believe. I, I don't remember if I got this one at um, TJ Maxx or if I bought this one online when I ordered my other fragrances from Le Mans Gourmand but either way it goes I really do enjoy this fragrance I really do think it's nice and pretty I really do think it's a great layering perfume um, it's not just a simple straight up vanilla this one is more of a pretty vanilla this one I feel like can go with florals I feel like it can layer with more of your perfumey type of scents which is what I've been layering it with and then I also feel like if you wanted to add it to a gourmand it will take your gourmand to another level like it'll take it a step up so I do think that this is overall a nice perfume. I think Le Mans Gourmand as a brand has some really, really nice 
fun, interesting, and unique perfumes. So I would definitely recommend them. And yeah, I say check them out because they do have some really, really nice fragrances. I can't wait to start wearing their other ones. I have um, Le Bubble Pop. I can't wait to wear that one during the spring. That one is going to be so, so fun. So yeah, I can't wait to wear that one. Um, Burberry Goddess. We ain't going to talk too much about Burberry Goddess because this has been on my perfume tray for how long now? Burberry Goddess has been on my perfume tray since I believe October because I believe I got this in October. And again, this is only a 30 ml bottle. So it's not, it's not surprising that I put a dent in it. But again, Burberry Goddess to me, while I do like to wear it on its own, um, just layering it with body care, I really like using Burberry Goddess in addition to other combinations. So I'll put together a combination with body care and perfume, and then I will use Burberry Goddess to kind of go on top to, you know, seal it all in. And then I really like Burberry Goddess and Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth as well. I've just, I've done a lot of perfume layering. So on my perfume trays, I've been mixing together um, two or more perfumes if I feel like it. So that has been one of the reasons why I've gotten dense in my perfumes because I've been layering them all together. Just having fun. Um, Burberry Goddess is really, really nice. Once I understood the dry down of this fragrance, that's when I really started to appreciate it. And yeah, that cacao powder dry down is really, really nice. Um, once I was done with my, what was it? My Alien Goddess. Once I was done with that perfume, I did feel a little bit more compelled to actually get a bottle of this. So now I can appreciate it a lot more. This one is really, really nice. Another perfume from my perfume tray, this is Victoria's Secret Oso oh Party. So this dent is very, very fresh. This dent is very, very new because I brought this onto my perfume tray in January. So this dent has come from just me using it this month because when I first um, put this on my tray, it didn't have that much of a dent at all, if I'm being honest. So just me using it these past couple of weeks, I've definitely put that much of a dent in it. And I do enjoy this perfume. I think it is very simple, non-complex, kind of like, you know, a Victoria's Secret type of scent, a scent that you would expect from Victoria's Secret. It is really, really nice. It's a floral, sweet perfume. Nothing too like descript, like it's very, it's very nondescript, honestly, because I said the scent notes of this perfume, it doesn't even smell like those scent notes specifically. It just is a floral pretty type of perfume, but I have really been enjoying this one. And like I told you guys in my perfume tray video, I know another combination that I will really enjoy this perfume with. So I can't wait until the springtime to pull that one out again and start using it with the um, scent that I really, really enjoy. And then the very last fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about is none other than this one, which I have mentioned time and time again since I have gotten it in my collection, Bianco Latte. And looking through the lights, where we're at, we are sitting right here on Bianco Latte. So almost halfway on this um, 100 ml bottle, took it out of town with me, absolutely love it. Have gotten hella compliments, even put my best friend onto this perfume. She wanted it for her birthday. I have just loved on this perfume so much and I wanna keep loving on it until it goes away um, during spring and summer because I don't think I would want to pull this one out during spring and summer because it has that kind of like condensed milk or um, cold foam type of scent. And I don't think I want to smell like that during the spring and summer, during the heat. So I would definitely put this one away um, in my closet, squirrel it away until next fall and winter when I will pull it out. But here recently, I've definitely been enjoying it and definitely have put that big old dent in this 100 ml bottle since I got it, which was in what, November? I believe I got this one in November. So definitely have been loving on this one. So I really, really, really enjoy that fragrance. So those are my perfumes, you guys, that I have recently put nice little dents in. Again, I just like showing these so y'all can get some updates on these perfumes as well as my thoughts on them and just like little tidbits of information about these perfumes. And then some of them, you guys will definitely see in my year-end perfume empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my perfumes and their dents. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what perfumes you put dents in recently. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Ferguson Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.